Better than the original. Yes. Shall we have a look and see who's in my green room this evening, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> Why don't... Hold on. What's that? OK, I'll tell them. Uh, I've got some bad news for you. <laughs> Tonight's band have pulled out. <laughs> the band we had booked couldn't make it. Luckily, at the last minute, we have managed to get... Take that, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen! So, that's OK. Ladies, ladies, save those hormones, you'll need them one day, OK? <laughs> Some of them overdosed on the patch today just because they knew you were coming. <laughs> Simply one of the biggest boy bands in the world, and I use the term boy in its modern sense, meaning a man in his late 30s. <laughs> <laughs> and the boys stroke men will be not just chatting to me here, they'll be performing, and I asked them earlier... <laughs> which of this? They're doing their new single, but I asked them as a favour for me and as a special treat for you all, their fans, they're going to do another track as well this evening. <laughs> Two songs at the end of the show. Oh, really? the there you go. Take that on the programme. And I, and I want to see that enthusiasm match for all the guests so no one feels left out, OK? <laughs> uh, next up on the... Please, please, it's not about me. This is their time, <laughs> OK? Let's give them some attention for a minute. Uh, but who'd have thought, you know when you... I remember when you got back together and I interviewed you pretty early on in that stage yeah. and everyone was, you know, keen to see how you would do... I don't think anyone could have predicted, I don't think you could have predicted no. that it would have gone quite as well. And uh, it's, it's remarkable, isn't it? Oh, it's unbelievable. Like you say, it's just... It's, I mean, it, I, feel, I, feel like a, I feel like we say it a lot, this, but we are gen... Genuinely surprised. Um, we're trying to keep up with it all because it's going at a million miles an hour. But I mean, we've been out all over the UK this week doing our tours. And it's a we, big venue. We can't believe the it? amount of people that have come to yeah. see us on this show. And Do dozens of people. Dozens. <laughs> 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 Hey, I can't wait to... I'm going to go to the Wembley thing. I've heard this show's incredible. There's a photograph for you guys. Um, you, you're actually on that big model elephant thing. Yeah, it's about yeah. 30 metres. And it moves, it walks down. It walks, yeah. The, we, the, the, the dancers on the show, cast of the show, actually move. The thing, we have a, a, a lady called Bryony who plays the tail of this elephant and she's amazing. Her stomach muscles are growing every day. She's... Some people move the ears, some She's people move the trunk. Yeah. yeah. So then you've got humans inside this giant elephant working it for you. I'm yeah. a little disappointed. I thought we it was like a, a big magic elephant that you'd found. <laughs> you know? Uh, so, and, but is it safe up there? I mean, I'm presuming it is, but are you strapped into it? How do you stay up on top of a, an elephant made out of dancers? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and there's bars around, yeah. um, but we, 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 don't, we have a little contingency plan if, if we get stuck. I uh, did there. You, we don't know what it, we're going to do. It rained heavily at one of the gigs recently, yeah. didn't yeah. it? Yeah, well, Wednesday night. And we so, presumably, in. you're getting soaked on stage, aren't you? It's great. You know what? Yeah, we, it's we, the best we looked, gig. Yeah, we looked out before the show and it was just this sea of umbrellas and we were like, oh, no. We, you know, we, we always want our crowd to have a good night when they come along. But as um, soon as we come on, we were getting drenched as well and it seemed to make it actually even better. Yeah. Uh, I, you know, I've never mm. seen you perform a big live gig yet. I'm going to go and see you in Wembley. And I believe you, you do some sort of circus skills as well because, of course, that's the thought theme of the new album. Yeah. And you dress up as clowns at, at one stage in the show, don't you? Yeah. OK. That's good um, fun. There we have How uh, Is that Howard up on the thing yeah. there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Looking like, looking like that saddle's hurting, I'll be honest <laughs> with you. Um, but do you, can you all do the unis... Do you all ride on the unicycle or is it...? Yeah, we, we, us three learn how to do the unicycle. Cycle. Well, he learned it first, but he had a bit of a bad back. Okay. So we learned it. So Gary learned oh. it first. No, us three, us three learned the unicycle, and okay. we thought we we're going to take all the glory. You see. So okay. what then happens is we all come out, 
And then Gary comes out on this little tiny bike and stabilizes, and he takes all the glory. <laughs> <laughs> That was the idea, actually. Yeah, yeah. But, but can you ride the unicycle? No. No. <laughs> and you're not going to bother? They're brilliant. Did you not bring it? I told you no, I'd bring it. No. So, Mark, you learned first. It was Howard's idea because he actually bought them us for Christmas and he kind of challenged us to try and learn them for the tour. He bought them us a Christmas present. You presents. bought them a unicycle yeah. for Christmas? It's a great present. It's fantastic. <laughs> really expensive, 80 quid each. It's the first, <laughs> but the first must... time in our entire life we've all had a present off Howard. <laughs> <laughs> He got, he got a job lot from Marson. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, is, it, is it easy to learn? Is it hard to learn? No, it's, it's quite difficult, actually. I bet. It's brilliant, though, because it is literally like learning how to ride a bike. Do you remember when we were well, kids? Well, you are. You no, are no, literally no, but, learning to ride a bike. You know, but when you're a kid and, you, and your dad lets go when you're yeah, a kid and you yeah. get that exhilaration, it's the same thing, but this so, time so, as adults. So when you wheel. were taught, so, OK, did... Uh, so, who, Mark, you learnt first? No. Who learnt first? Uh, Howard, really. OK. Yeah. So, Howard, so you were the father, were you? You were holding these guys on the inner circle. Well, was there, did you coach I, them? I was kind of always one step ahead, hoping that they were going to get up to my level, but they never did. <laughs> OK. <laughs> <laughs> OK. This is Take That, uh, live on stage. Uh, this, this talk, and it looks incredible. This is them in Sunderland. Look at this. How does it work now as a band for the four of you together? Uh, when, when you write, for example, is it still very much you come up with most of the songs and then you work with the guys, or, or is it a communal thing, all four of you together? How does that work? It happens all different ways on our last record, you know. So, sometimes two of us write together. Um, you know, there's songs that I haven't even written on on the last album, so it works in many different ways. Um, and it's really enjoyable as a band making music now, and I think we're looking forward to trying again. But you... <laughs> I'm really hard to hear that because, you know, when you've been apart for a while, and I would have thought if you hadn't been apart in a while, you wouldn't be where you are now today. You know, yeah. you had to go away to come back yeah. uh, in this different way. Um, but often people get back together and they, they've missed what they had or they've missed what they were doing and they enjoy it again for a while and then they, they tire of it or it becomes difficult or stresses. Or, but you seem to be pretty much as tight together as you ever have been. I tell you what, it's better this time in every single way in terms of us getting along together. I know it's always going to sound corny that we're best mates and we love each other, but we... <laughs> no, no, but it's... Yeah, there you go. But, um, <laughs> but we, we're actually... I think when, when you're successful as well, it's easier to, to get on along together. Um, perhaps if we fail dismally tomorrow, we might start arguing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but no, as, as it happens, we, we get on really well. But um, it's been better in terms of... Um, the, the reception we've received from, from our fan base. So it's, just, it's, it's brilliant all around. In fact, we needn't have bothered the first time. We should have just come back. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? We shouldn't have started out back in. <laughs> um, when, you, when you're on the road now, do you have separate dressing rooms or do you have you... <laughs> no, no, I don't mean that, but I mean, you know, are you together in the room? Do you like to get together before the show or do you sort of meet on stage? We're together all the time in the, dress, in the dressing rooms. Mark's got his own little warm-up room. <laughs> but... <laughs> That's it. But all the time, we're all, always together in the dressing rooms. We all give each other a hug before we go on. <laughs> That's great, you know, it's brilliant. Yeah, but when you're warm up, what is <laughs> 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 You need to get some of the tension out of your system. No, because, they, no, because they, they have a warm-up tape that's quite, you know, dignified and, uh, like, you know, stepping up and I just go in and shout for a little bit. In the room. <laughs> so I, I don't quite do the same as okay. them, really. Uh, and, and afterwards, you, you have one big bed at the hotel, I believe. Is this <laughs> yeah. It's like Morecambe and Wife, all in there with their pyjamas on and the newspaper. Great, good, good short night, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You know that unicycle? I think I might give that a pop. <laughs> <laughs> that was me trying to do you. But... Uh, I've got to congratulate you on what you did for Comic Relief. Yeah. Because oh, I don't know if you right. saw this. I don't know if you saw this. 
but, but Gary walked up a very big hill for comic relief. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, uh, you know, obviously it was an incredible achievement. Um, you all did your bit. I know you were there on the evening as well. But it must have been quite something. When you got to the top of that, I know you spent with it, but what a, what a feeling Brilliant. it must have been. Brilliant, yeah. Especially because I, I had a bad back just before that started. I actually thought I wasn't going to be going. Um, but I think the, the, all the people that we very carefully chosen to go and do the climb that I mean, everybody helped each other to the top and it was great and it was also great the way the whole country sort of took it on board and yeah. become a part of it and we raised nearly four million quid at well the that was day, a huge so achievement and you know i'm sure i don't know if you know this that was a, a, a remarkable thing i don't know if you know not, but on comic relief night itself you know the largest donations that came in came in during your performance when you guys stood on stage and you performed uh, in, in the garden yeah, song whatever yeah. it's called yeah. i like a yeah. garden or something yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um so guys uh, the tour when this finishes what do you do next you have presumably a little bit of downtime some time oh, off I'll yourself game over and then what <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then a new album you work on that already uh, we haven't started yet but yeah i would guess that, that i mean basically the tour is like the end of the cycle, yeah. so, so you, you know... So you finished that. This is the, you've been working towards this with the last album, this yeah. gets yeah. your system. But you won't be able to top this tour, I would have thought. I mean, something this big and this grand. And every, every single tour we've done, everybody's always said you'll never top it, and we've always proved them wrong, but I think this time they're, they're going to be definitely right. <laughs> right. Yeah. No, no chance. This is as big as it I gets. I think if we can us. equal it, I'll be happy. Yeah. Or, or you could go the other direction and just do a much smaller scale thing. Well, yeah. yeah, I don't I mean, know. That, I think... You know, I think, like pubs. I think that's... <laughs> I think that's the beauty of us, though. We can actually go from a stadium back to arenas, or we can go to theatres and do an acoustic set. I think we can actually get away with it. I'm so thrilled uh, for you guys, because I always kind of like take that, but I liked them, like, I thought they were, you know, a fun pop band when you were kids. But now, I think, you know, genuinely, I, I love your music, and I think you're just such a tremendously talented group of men, and nice, decent men as well. You know, really, I'm so thrilled it's happening to you, because you so deserve it. You know? <laughs> but he's, uh, he's starving. <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame him. Um, you're going to perform for this evening. Before you do, yeah. uh, you know, if you look back on the early take that stuff, uh, it, you know, it is like a, it's like a different universe almost. <laughs> uh, but you did some quite strange videos, didn't you, earlier? You yeah. know where I'm going with this, don't you? Yeah. This is an adult version of uh, uh, a video you did many years ago. <laughs> I don't know how often this has been shown on TV. Has it been shown on this TV? This could right? be the end of our run right here. <laughs> <laughs> OK, no, here we go. OK, uh, if you haven't seen this before... Thanks, <laughs> Warnock. Are you ready for this, big boy? <laughs> OK, here we go. I'm going to warn you now, this is quite explicit, ladies and gentlemen. If you haven't seen it before, you're in for a treat. Uh, this will take you down memory lane. Take that way back when. Look at this. <laughs> Fifth member of the band, right there. Yes. Yes. Very there you you know go. What I find so amazing about that video. That was a, that was of course uh, uh, do what you oh, like. Right, yeah. <laughs> 1991, I think. What do you find amazing? What, was, what is it? Do you remember? No, I just you find must... it so amazing. Not not that we're so flipping hairless and so toned and all that. I find it just so amazing that how how easy we said, yeah, we'll do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really natural at the time. But also because you had nothing to lose because people didn't really know who you yeah, were that much. You were just part of the stepping stone. I'm, I'm sure we've all done things in the past to get where we are today that we regret. Isn't that right, fellas? <laughs> OK. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Uh, before you go, though, uh, I've had so many emails and people on Twitter have contacted me and Facebook and myself and all these people and have all said, you know, ask the boys to say hello and we love the boys and let them know how much we, you know, and really your fans are just kind of so dedicated and so want you know how much. And, and I've had so many, yeah, so many... Um, 
so many female fans asked me whether I would do something for them. They said, would you kiss the boys for me? <laughs> okay? would you... And I thought initially, no, I can't do that. I thought, well, no, maybe I owe it to the fans to give you oh, all oh, a kiss. Oh, only on the lips. Oh. <laughs> 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 Go on, son. <laughs> I'm really, I'm, I'm relieved you've had that because I was talking to you before you came on and I thought you need some listening. <laughs> you can be first then, sunshine. <laughs> yeah. You know what? It's a whole new world of possibilities opened up for me right there. <laughs> uh, I'm so delighted they've come back on the show. I'm so thrilled they're playing live. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, I think they're just the best band working in the country today. What a great group. And how nice to have you back on. Just take that, ladies and gentlemen. Take that. Thank you. Guys, that was great fun. Thank you. You don't get ready to perform. Thank you very much. Thank you. Good work. <laughs> Thanks to all my guests tonight. Uh, take that, who will be performing in just a second. Giles Khan and Sue Perkins and the magnificent Jack Black. Next week on the show, I have Mitchell and Webb. From Lost, we have Matthew.